Chapter 4 Using PowerPoint 2016 In the comic strip given on the previous page, you can notice that there is a sequence to the actions of the boy. If we interchange the sequence of even one picture, it will be difficult to understand that the little boy is eventually going to school or not. PowerPoint works in a similar way. It helps the user organize the data information in a sequence which will make it easier to present the same data or information to other people. PowerPoint is an application program that is meant for presentations. A presentation is a series of slides or pages about a topic that are in a particular sequence. We can use various features to make our presentations more creative and meaningful. Starting PowerPoint 2016 Follow these steps to create a PowerPoint presentation. Step 1. Press on the Start button. Step 2. Scroll to PowerPoint 2016 and click on it. PowerPoint 2016 Start screen will appear which is also known as Backstage View. We can use the Backstage View to create new presentations. From this screen, we can open, save, share, print and create a PDF. Click on Blank Presentation to create a new presentation. Components of the PowerPoint window Look at the main window of PowerPoint 2016. Title Bar the title bar is located at the top of the PowerPoint 2016 window. It displays the name of the presentation that is currently open. If the presentation has already been saved, then it will display the name by which we saved it. If the presentation has not been saved, then it will display the name Presentation 1. On the right side of the title bar, there are three buttons, Minimize, Maximize Restore Down and Close button. Quick Access Toolbar. It appears on the left side of the PowerPoint 2016 title bar. It offers frequently used commands such as Save, Undo, Redo and Slideshow. Ribbon. A ribbon is made of tabs and groups. Each tab has a set of commands in the form of tool buttons. Slides Outline pane. This pane is located on the left side of the window. The slides pane displays the thumbnail of each slide in the presentation. The outline pane shows a text outline of all the data or information on the slide. Speakers Notes pane. The speaker's notes pane is a space where the speaker can write notes. These notes are visible only to the speaker, someone who will present the presentation, and they don't appear when the presentation is being displayed. Placeholder. A placeholder is a box with dotted outline. It is the first thing that appears when we add a slide. We can add text pictures, videos in a placeholder. Status bar. The status bar is located at the bottom of the screen in a PowerPoint window. It displays the number of current slides, total number of slides, and the design theme that was used. Creating a new presentation. A presentation is a collection of slides. A slide is counted as one page of the presentation which contains text, pictures, or videos. We can add as many slides as we want to make a presentation. Follow these steps to create a new presentation. Step 1. Click on the File tab. Step 2. Click on Blank Presentation in the Backstage view. A new presentation will appear with a blank slide. Creating the title slide When we create a new presentation, the default first slide is the title slide. 
The title slide has a text placeholder where we can enter the text. Entering text in the title text placeholder. Follow these steps to add text in a placeholder. Step 1. Click on the title text placeholder box. Step 2. Type the text in the text placeholder box. Example. In the given image, we entered the text this is my first presentation. The title text will appear in the text placeholder and the slides tab as well. Entering text in the subtitle text placeholder. Subtitle text is the text that is related to the title but it provides more information than the title. Follow these steps to add text in a subtitle text placeholder. Step 1. Click on the subtitle text placeholder box. Step 2. Type the text in the text placeholder box. Example. In the given image, we enter the text I am learning about so many new things in PowerPoint 2016. The text will appear in the subtitle text placeholder and the slides tab as well. Adding a new slide. Follow these steps to insert a new slide. Step 1. Click on the Home tab. Step 2. Click on the New Slide command in the Slides group. Step 3. Select the type of slide that you want to add. A new slide will be inserted. A new slide can also be inserted by right-clicking in the Slides pane. Select the New Slide option from the pop-up menu. Deleting a placeholder. Follow these steps to delete a placeholder. Step 1. Select the placeholder by clicking on its border. Step 2. Press on the delete key to delete a placeholder. In order to delete multiple placeholders at a time, press the control key and keep selecting each placeholder that you want to delete. When you are done selecting, release the control key and press the delete key. Deleting a slide. Follow these steps to delete a slide. Step 1. Select the slide that you want to delete. Step 2. Right-click on the slide and select the Delete Slide option from the pop-up menu. The slide will get deleted. Viewing Slide Show In the Slide Show view, the presentation is displayed in full-screen mode. Follow these steps to view a presentation in a slideshow. Step 1. Click on the slideshow tab from the ribbon. Step 2. Click on from beginning from the slideshow group. Or you can click on the slideshow view icon on the status bar. We can view slideshow of the current slide by pressing the F5 key. Saving a presentation. Follow these steps to save a presentation. Step 1. Click on File tab. Backstage view will appear. Step 2. Click on the Save or Save As button. We can also click on the Save button on the Quick Access toolbar. Step 3. Go to the folder or location where you want to save the file. Step 4. Click on the file name text box and type a name for the file. Step 5. Click on Save. Your presentation will be saved. Exiting PowerPoint Follow these steps to exit from PowerPoint 2016. Step 1. Move the mouse pointer towards the Close button. Step 2. Click on the Close button. The application will be closed.